I was born on January 31st, 1979, a Wednesday, and I actually really like my birth date because I can visualize most of the numbers in it as, as very round and, and smooth shapes, similar to pebbles on a beach. Well, that's because they are all prime numbers. You know, I can recognize every prime number up to 9,973 by this same pebble-like quality. I have a rare condition known as Savant Syndrome, and it has caused me to have a very close relationship with numbers. Each one has a specific personality, if you will, and each one is absolutely unique from the rest. I mean, one, for example, one is this bright flash of light, like, like someone shining a flashlight onto my face, and while well, four, four is shy and, and quiet, which is perhaps why it is my favorite number, because it reminds me of myself. Numbers are my friends. Think of the most intelligent person you know. What makes you think of them as a genius? Daniel Tammet is the epitome of genius for, because of his outstanding and unique understanding of mathematics and numbers. But Daniel wasn't always labeled as a genius. For the longest time, his title was disabled. Today, he speaks out about how his disability doesn't define him as a person, nor should it ever define anyone. Born on a Blue Day by Daniel Tammet. I began school in September, and, and I can remember that particularly day very well because, well, a lot of it was very uncomfortable for me. You know, I could rarely ever feel happy. Well, thus, of course, they just left me off to the side to do my own thing, but I remember standing at the edge of the playground, underneath the shade of the trees, and, and I would look up at the light coming through the branches and the leaves. But the other boys would say, Daniel is weird, and, and Daniel is talking to the trees. <laughs> but I never talked to the trees. I mean, why would anyone talk to something that can't talk back, right? I, I mean, I talk to my cats, but that's different. At least they meow. But, but a lot of time, I felt like I just didn't fit in anywhere. And it was like I was born into the wrong world, and most of the time, I just wanted to vanish. And I would spend hours just looking up at the ceiling, wondering what the hell it was like to have a friend. I really had to get used to the feeling of loneliness, and I guess as a way to make up for my lack of friends, I began creating my own. Uh, my favorite was a very tall woman named Anne. We would walk around the playground talking about numbers and books and life and death and, and everything, and I just felt so close to her because finally, finally, this was a single person that I could say or do anything with, and she wouldn't dislike me. But I remember sometimes I would ask her questions, and she just couldn't answer them. I remember looking up at her and saying, why am I so different from the other children? And she would just shake her head and say that she couldn't say. And you know, a man named Kim, he taught me that Friendship is this delicate and gradual process that mustn't be rushed or seized upon, rather allowed and encouraged. And you know, Kim Peek is a miracle, okay? When he was born, doctors told his parents that he would never walk or speak, and today he has read more than 9,000 books and memorized all of their content. And when he and I met, well, he stood so close to me and it made me uncomfortable because, well, he's a very tall man. So I just stood there and I said, January 31st, 1979. And he grabbed my arms and looked at me in the eyes. And he told me that I would turn 65 on a Sunday. And, and, and I laughed because, well, I would. But then he said to me, November 11th, 1951. 
and I told him that he was born on a Sunday. And then he said, Daniel, you're a savant like me. And he said, Daniel, you do not have to be disabled to be different. Because everybody is different. And I wish someone would have told me that sooner. Because meeting him was the happiest moment of my entire life. January 31st, 1979. That was a Wednesday, and I know it was a Wednesday because the date is blue in my mind. And just like the number nine, Wednesdays are always blue.